has been three years, three months and one day since that deadly attack on this city's local newspaper, the Capital Gazette newsroom over on Bestgate Road. And today, after 12 witnesses delivered live in person victim impact testimony here up in courtroom 4C, the judge handed down a sentence and brought an end to these legal proceedings. We couldn't have asked for a better outcome today. I, I just wish none of this ever happened and uh, we could have our five family capital except family members back. The state asked for the maximum and the judge agreed, handing down six consecutive life sentences, five without the possibility of parole, plus an additional 345 years in prison to the gunman who stormed the Capitol Gazette newsroom on June 28, 2018 and murdered five people. Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters. It was the most serious sentence that you can get in the state of Maryland, and that's what he got. Six people survived the mass shooting, and some of them, along with family members of the fallen, delivered live victim impact testimony in court today. It felt really good to be able to look the judge in the eye and also to be able to look the shooter in the eye. Um, it meant a lot to me to be able to tell him to his face that he failed. I would like the nightmares to cease. I just want a good night's rest. One good night's rest is all I asked for one day at a time. You see that they are resilient. They are living, they're going on and living their lives and that that's their legacy. Two jurors on the panel that found the gunman criminally responsible for the crime back in July came back to court today, attended the hearing they told 11 News to support the victims and their families and to maybe find closure. I don't think there's ever going to be any closure. I mean, I lost five of my family members. I was almost killed myself. Um, it's something that haunts me every day. That's Capital Gazette photographer Paul Gillespie, who did not deliver a victim impact statement directly to the judge, but who did want to talk with reporters who were gathered here outside of the courthouse. Prosecutors tell 11 News that the gunman will soon be transferred to a state prison in Cumberland, where he will be under lockdown for 23 hours a day. Reporting live from Annapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News.